It's the kind of beat to go Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joey and today we have a evolution or promotion 101 video and pretty much what I'm going to be going to be doing today is showing you guys how to evolve or promote your units. So it's been a pretty common misconception or confusion, confusing point because sometimes it doesn't make sense. Like you get stuck at level nine, then where do you go? So a lot of you guys may be wondering, how do you go past level nine? How do you get more of those perks for your units and things like that? So right now I have my lumberjack. He is level nine. And now in order to get him to level 10, we have to have a lumberjack of the exact same type of unit. So right here we have an uncommon lumberjack. That's all it is. So I had one extra one that was only level one, didn't have to upgrade him at all. And what you do is consume him to go ahead and upgrade him to level 10. And if I was go ahead just for time's sake, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this now. That hurt me. I don't like spending coins like that, guys. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and complete the training. And once you do that, you get to pick a perk. And this will kind of expand your unit's range of possibilities. So <clears throat> right here, we can either do Jagged Teach jagged teeth or enraging fumes now for this specific lumberjack i'm thinking about doing enraging fumes now i'm going to do that one and maybe on my next one i'll do jagged teeth it, we can just kind of switch off a little bit kind of make a versatile different type of lumberjack so as you can see we got all the upgrades and that's how you do it now let me go ahead and break this down a little bit more we'll go into two more kind of promotions i'll show them in just a moment here but if we go to all units here scroll down to say outlaw Okay, say I want to upgrade my outlaw and get evolve that to level 10. So I have one level one here and another level one here. Now I would upgrade this level one outlaw right here all the way up to nine. And once I reach nine, I would consume this one right here and that would get me the upgrade. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut this really quick and then we're going to kind of transport over to my other account and I'm going to show you guys another promotion. Give me one second, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we are on to another promotion right here. I am on my higher level survivors account. And what I've been doing lately, I've been working on upgrading my timber beast. Now, this is a higher level typed lumberjack here, and it's going to have a little bit more juice, you could say. So we've got a train here. As you can see, it's complete. It's finished already. And if we click on it right here, level nine, I'm going to be going to level 10. I'm going to complete the training. And this time I'm going to go for jagged teeth. Now, this is on my main account. It's a different one, but I want to see how they kind of compare. So jagged teeth here, I'm going to go ahead and put that perk on there. And my timber beast is up to level 10. So I actually had another level one timber beast. I consumed it and went from there. So guys, now you may be wondering how in the world do I promote it? Now, all I've been showing you guys is kind of what happens after I've gotten to level nine. And... Another thing you may be wondering is how much extra, is it worth it to evolve? I mean, is it actually worth it? That's what the real question here is, guys. So let me go ahead and show you guys sort of how things compare a little bit. Now, usually your health will go up about 100 on the Timber Beast. That's what the Timber, was. The timber Beast went up about 100, and the damage went about 8. Now, it's a little bit more than a standard upgrade here, but we're also getting a perk, so it's definitely worth it, worth it. and that will allow you to get to a higher level. Kind of if you're moving on to harder levels, such as maybe Dakar, if you're moving up to, if you're getting in the range where you're getting closer to vanilla, it's really going to come in handy. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and transfer over to the infected side really quick, and I'm going to show you guys pretty much what the promotion thing is firsthand. So give me one moment here, and we will be right back. All right, guys, so we are back on my a little bit higher level infected count. This one is level 33. This isn't my main kind of beginner's let's play account, but this one's pretty far along. It's doing pretty well, and I want to show you guys pretty much a level eight or well, level nine to ten kind of evolves here so right here i have my infector who's chilling out at a cool level nine and i have as you can see we scroll down i got a lot of i got a lot of units on this count guys um as you can see we have one infector right there chilling out so we're going to use that to involve so as you can see right here in the bottom right i can't really show you guys let me show you actually right there that is the evolve it combines with a unit of the same type that is not upgrading on your team or collecting so i'm going to pretty much consume that unit and use it to evolve i'm not going to get that back it's going to be gone forever but it's going to give me a higher higher power unit of that type so as you can see if i start well actually let's go and check this out so as you can see level 10 perks perks are lost pretty much locked until i get to level 10. so if i go ahead go to stats here Check out the pat stats here. Team power is going to go up by 20. Health is going to go up by about 30. And drone level up by 1. No complaints there, guys. So if we go ahead and start evolving. And for time's sake, again, I'm going to speed it up here. Hurts every time. Can't stand it. I don't like it. 
But if we go ahead and complete that training, we're going to be able to pick a perk. And that's pretty much what evolving is. So that's pretty much three units picking perks. Lumberjack, Timber Beast, and the Infector. Three, not two. So colonization, increased drone spawn to five or increased horde size by 200%. Hmm. You know what? For... I already have a lot of increased drones spawned by five on my other infectors or reanimator. So I'm going to go with viral latency here. We're going to tap to skip and guys, that is going to be concluding our promoting video. So guys, I really hope that you found this helpful in some way because I know sometimes it can be a little bit confusing on pretty much what in the world evolving is or what they call promotion now. And I hope this really helped guys. And as you can see my team here, I've done quite a bit of promoting here. I've gotten one of my guys up to, well, up to 11, but I got my biohazard here up to level 25. I mean, really just go crazy. Have fun, guys. I'm glad. I'm Hopefully this helped in some way if you were a bit confused on evolving or promoting and how it really worked. But guys, thank you so much for watching as always. Oh, let me do this real quick. Um, Just quick tip. Um, If you are trying to evolve it and you're upgrading that unit, you're not going to be able to evolve it because it's upgrading. So you're going to have to wait till that second unit you want to consume is done upgrading then you'll be able to do it. Now, if you have any questions about why it's not working, go ahead and throw them down in the description comment section. Now, I'll be, make sure to help you guys out. But again, thank you so much for watching. As always, guys, hope you really enjoyed. Hope it helped. And I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.